Hello YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope y'all are doing well today. Got a recorded video for you folks today. Uh, I think I'll entitle it uh, the top five preps you haven't thought about. Maybe that's what I'll put on the thumbnail. I don't know. Uh, but some preps that you probably haven't thought about but would be a good idea to prep. Uh, number one, I saw this uh, last week at Walmart on my grocery day. It was five bucks. I thought, hey, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Food can come from anywhere. So, a frog gig. This was five dollars at Walmart. Uh, Anybody with a good fixed blade knife can whittle up a pole, uh, you know, a good nine or ten foot, find a straight branch or something, make them a pole. Frog gig. Yeah, we may have to resort to eating some frogs around here, you know, in SHTF. So, number one, frog gig. Five bucks. Number two, and this is this is what I call me thinking out of the box. Uh, climbing rated carabiners. Yes, we've all got the little cheapo carabiners that comes attached to our water bags or our, our, uh, our canteen cup or whatever. You know, uh, you buy camping goods, you'll get plenty of those little things that are attached to all kind of stuff, the little cheapies. You can find a good set of climbing rated carabiners. These are rated for 560 pounds, uh, which is just over the rating of paracord, 550. So you don't want something that's rated under what regular paracord is rated, I wouldn't think. But you can, I've got two of these. Uh, you can get two of these on Amazon for like 19 bucks. Uh, nobody plans on having to do any climbing. But NSHTF, really? Who knows? And uh, some good climbing rope as well, which I don't have climbing rope yet. That's something I'll get, you know, as we go on. But climbing rated safety carabiners. These, you have to twist the thing. These are what they call safety type. You have to spin it. Then it'll open. So good climbing rated carabiners. That's your number two item. Number three, being able to mend things, repair things like our footwear, boots, shoes, shoe goo. Now when I bought this shoe goo, you can see this is open already. I thought, well, one day down the road, I'll need to repair a boot or something. As you can see, that day has already came. Uh, I had some shoes that I could fix and make them last longer and I've already used it. This stuff works real good. So shoe goo. Uh, good shoe repair stuff. And this dries clear so it doesn't matter what color your shoes are. Next up, I've had this in storage for a couple of months now. Uh, a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, I put this up uh, because I'm cooking on a regular stove right now. Uh, there's really no need for me to have it plugged up in the house right now. But when it comes to cooking using propane, butane, that kind of stuff, that's when you'll need one of these. Now this one, uh, it does plug into the wall, but I can plug it into my solar generator, you know, I can still make it work. It's not going to take a whole lot of uh, power to run that. But uh, something good to think about. Uh, I don't, like I said, I haven't opened this. It may have a battery backup. It does. It says right there. Battery backup. So it does have a battery backup. So uh, another good item to think about. Another item, that was the fourth, I guess. Uh, another item, this is, this is bringing up a whole topic of items, really. 
this is an oil filter wrench. If you own a vehicle, you may have to change your own oil. And you may need to be learning how to do that now. Uh, most people just take their car to a place and pay somebody to do it. But uh, having the tools and having the knowledge to be able to change your oil yourself, stock your own oil, stock your own parts, uh, I don't have a regular vehicle. I have, a, you know, an ATV. That's what I ride because I'm legally blind. They won't let me drive. But uh, these are four-wheeler parts. These. This is an air filter for my ATV. This is a rear bearing kit for my ATV. Uh, so uh, this is something that fails quite a bit. Of course, chains of sprockets fail too over time, but this fails a lot. This is like the weakest part on that whole four-wheeler. So I keep these in stock. Uh, so car, vehicle related items uh, for y'all, it would be a vehicle. But for me, it's a four-wheeler. But uh, stock up plenty of oil. Stock up plenty of oil filters, air filters, things your car might need things you may not be able to get during a uh, a grid down SHTF you know uh, these are good things to have and good skills to know uh, know how to change your own oil maybe buy you a set of those ramps where you can pull your car up on the ramps and have enough uh, space to get under a car to change the oil things like that it's good to be thinking about those uh, so that's my video for today. I think I covered it all. I thought this was a really good idea. And it's got the hardware, the screws in there to put through the handle when you make a handle for it. Uh, Froggy, pretty cool. Try to think about those, those unthinkable things. Uh, think out of the box. Try to plan for things you may have to do. Uh, or you may not have to do but it's good to have plans it's good to have climbing rated carabiners in case you'd have to do some climbing uh, they can be used for different things putting up hammocks whatever God bless y'all for my prayers this is Farmer Sam Prepping y'all have a blessed day